twenty five, has two children only. Housewife, stay at home, take care of the children. I cooking everything, go to market everything. I do la myself. Last time, young time, I can walk very fast. Now old already. Sometimes the leg got problem. I and my sister, nobody, brother all gone. My mother, ah, fifty two, is passed away. My time not yet coming. My time come, I go. My mom loves serving the community. They always tell me, "Rina, your mom is a gem." What really inspired me is this is despite the fact that she's physically frail, but she never complained. I think she feels that she's younger. You know, sometimes she tells me, "No, I'm not 78. I'm 77." I said, "Last year you were 77." <laughs> she's taking it very gracefully. Sana. What I am today is because of my mom. She will come into the house and lay the food, everything there for me nicely, you know. And she still treats me like a kid. So what? You know what she does? Sometimes she leaves ten, twenty dollars there for me. She will come down very often uh, to have a chat with me, to send me some food, some lovely foods, and uh, she's very wonderful. Kita boleh cakap macam adik beradik macam juga lah. Ah, kadang kadang dia mari pintu pun yang dikar pun dia cakap sama saya ada baik ka? Saya cakap saya baik. She will bring something from home, some eatable. Sometimes she comes all alone by herself in the bus. That's not easy, you know, for her. I just enjoy everything about her. We like to watch television. I usually dance in the hall, and yeah, we sleep all in the same room. So Ata usually tells me a lot of stories. We will talk until like late midnight till I go to sleep. This baby, I take three months until ten. No big girl already. Yeah, I've never had this um, a grandparent feeling. So Ata is really special to me because she took care of me as. Well. Every time you hear about certain food that we like, and you will keep on cooking it. For example, uh, my children like papadum, uh, so you will always make sure on a regular basis you make some papadum, put it in a Milo tin, you know, and send it to our home. Deep inside my heart, it's it's not easy to express, you no, know, the feeling. I told her, you are like my elder sister, so I will always respect you and I love you. She is like an angel sent by God, uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, nobody can replace her love. I don't think I can repay her with anything, you know. I love you, Mom. I love you, boy. Thank you. Hi, Ata. Thank you very much for loving me and caring for me. Ata, I love you very, very much, and you are worth more than you know. Okay. All the children are talking very nice. <laughs> <laughs>